Hello my fellow fasting friends, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my week 12 update. That was awkward. Um, I am excited to share with you guys my progress, a little experimenting that I'm doing, and just kind of give you guys a little update. So I, first of all, always like to tell you guys I still love fasting, so bottom line, still love it, still recommend trying it. Again, I follow the Fast Feast Repeat book, that is the first book that I read. So I'm gonna get right into the uh, results for the week. Again, I am a clean faster. I only have black coffee, unflavored, or water. I think you can have different types of tea. I don't like tea personally, so I'm not having any of that, and I don't have any flavors of anything throughout the day. It is very sustaining. I feel great. I actually really have enjoyed my fasting time. I physically feel better when I'm fasted, and then emotionally I'm happy when I eat. So this past week, my son turned four. We had a fourth birthday, and we celebrated just the five of us at home, and that included going to Chick-fil-A for dinner, having dirt cake, and then the next day he had a birthday party, and then we also went to my in-laws for a birthday dinner over there. So there's lots of celebrating. And because I knew that we were gonna have larger windows two days in a row, I used it as an experiment week, and I actually had a almost every day longer window and I didn't like force myself to keep it open but it was just kind of like I allowed myself to see how I did so I had longer eating windows on his birthday days and then my average for the week was just about 19 hours so barely over my 18 hour goal and it felt good I lost an entire pound this week so I was really happy with that so um, it was birthday week I'm PMSing I uh, way more dirt cake than anyone should, but it was all in my eating window. It was all without guilt, and I still lost a pound. So the most exciting thing to me about week 12 is that I feel like I can have flexibility in my windows and not, I I didn't know if I would maybe go up and wait. I actually felt really good, so I didn't think I was gonna go up and wait, and obviously I weigh myself every day so I could see the progress. And it was just encouraging. It really just encourages me to really grasp hold of the flexibility. And even if every single week I'm not losing weight, like I've had a number of weeks where I haven't lost weight or I've lost very minimal where it doesn't really count, like 0 0.05 pounds is really, you know, a pee. So I, I just feel really encouraged that when I am flexible to my life and I make fasting fit my life, I not only feel the freedom in that, but I've been able to continue to see positive results. So that's been my favorite thing about week 12. My other favorite thing is this is the first week that I actually can physically see a difference in myself when I am, when I like catch a peripheral of myself in a mirror it, I just look different or I've been filming other videos that have nothing to do with fasting and like when I stand up to like move my camera the my view of my legs I'm like wait are those my legs like they just don't look the same as they have for years. I'm able to physically see a difference in my face in my legs um, my arms have always been my thinnest part. I think they pretty much look the same as they did when I started, but my all my weight goes right to my thighs, my hips, my butt, and it's coming off, and I can finally like visually see it. Um, my pants are getting a little looser, so it's just a fun change. If you don't know me, I am pretty vocal, and I like to share things I'm excited about, so no one has like said that they notice that I'm losing weight, but I also think anyone that I talk to on a regular basis knows I'm fasting, so they probably just know what's going on. One thing I wanted to share is I have made a commitment to be more active on Instagram because I like Instagram. I really do love being on Instagram. I just thought it would be fun to have like a hashtag or a couple hashtags that I use of like Jackie's window worthy food is one that I plan to use. And so if you're into Instagram and you want to see, I'm going to try to regularly post what I'm eating every day. And I'm not doing that because I think like what I eat is what everyone else should eat, but I think it's fun to share the foods that I eat, not only because I love to eat, but I think it's fun, or I think it's important for people to see that fasting is certainly not starving yourself. So when I'm sharing that I'm making like steak and mashed potatoes and broccoli for dinner, which is what I'm having tonight and I can't wait, um, it's not, people aren't gonna be like, oh yeah, Jackie's starving herself and that's why she's lost 15 pounds. No, it's because I am just restricting my window. And I really want people to like get a positive image of intermittent fasting, that it's not what I'm eating, it's when I'm eating, and then the what might follow, but so far, I 
still ate my Chick-fil-A on Cal's birthday, let's just say that. If you know of any like hashtags that people, especially in Jin's community or the Fast Feast Repeat Delay Don't Deny community already use, feel free to let me know. I would love to check them out. But again, that's over on Instagram. I'd love to have you follow me along there. I am, um, I try to be active every single day on my stories so and there you'll see like things my kids do or projects we're doing around the house or lots of little things um so if you have found me just through intermittent fasting hello i do more than eat food fyi and week 11 i shared with you that i had delayed don't deny that was supposed to arrive last week it did indeed arrive i have not read it as quickly as i was hoping i would um because every time i read it it feels like i'm reading fast feast repeat but i liked fast feast repeat better but the part that I did really, really love was reading Jen's story. So I have listened to probably a hundred podcasts and through the hundred podcasts and through the Facebook groups um, of hers, I feel like I've heard a lot of her story, which I love, but it was nice to read it. It's a, in Appendix A where she gives you like her, in di in, excuse me, her entire diet history and how she found intermittent fasting and the success with it. So that is something that wasn't in Fast Feast Repeat and I feel like Fast Feast Repeat, it was a really great job of taking everything that was in Delay, Don't Deny and enhancing it and really giving you more of a, um, like a A to Z approach. I still have enjoyed Delay, Don't Deny, but I've only read the appendixes and through chapter nine. But I definitely would recommend it, especially if you like are like me, and if you're watching this video, you very well may be like me and like a lot of information. So. I really like to share information and I like to get information. So reading Fast Feast Repeat was wonderful. I wanted more, so I got Delay Don't Deny. I'm in the middle of reading it. I will read it by the next time. Um, and then I also got Obesity Code in the mail. I haven't even opened that one yet just because I think I'm reading like four books right now, all on different topics, and I just can't add another one. And if you're wondering what it's like to have a four-year-old son, he will bring you a worm in the middle of filming. Thanks, Cal. I'm gonna share with you some of the foods that I ate for the week and give you an idea of what my windows look like. I did not film on birthday party days because I was busy partying. So I am breaking my fast right at 18 hours today. I am having leftovers taco salad. So we had taco, walking tacos last night. I have the leftover taco meat, a bunch of romaine lettuce, um, salsa, a little bit of ranch, and green onions. I am just gonna add it all together and have this massive salad. It's about two in the afternoon and then we're having butter chicken for dinner tonight. And I don't know exactly, but my window will be about four hours. So I know this isn't quite a snack size salad. It's giant, but I'm hungry, so I'm eating it. And the fasting still provides so many magical benefits. So lettuce, onion, salsa, and ranch and taco meat. So I did a taco salad earlier and now I'm having butter chicken with white rice, lots of broccoli and toasted naan in my air fryer. These are the mini naans from Aldi and if you guys don't eat your broccoli stem, come on, do your part, they're still good. So I'm doing a 500 calorie down day. I have a bag of frozen Brussels sprouts, a frozen chicken gouda sausage. I'm sticking it in the air fryer for 400. For about 15 minutes, I'll give it a shake and I'll see what it looks like. And I'm gonna put seasonings on here and a little bit of Parmesan Romano shredded cheese. And it'll be right at about 500 calories. So here is my yummies, 15 minutes at 400 in the air fryer. And I'm about to just sprinkle it with some of this. I'll chop up my sausage and show you in the bowl. Okay, before I add my seasonings, I totally forgot I had all of the sauerkraut left over from our picnic yesterday and there's like 27 calories in a cup of sauerkraut and i'm about to use all of this believe it enough for my daughter to have a hot dog later my mom used to joke that she thought she was the only mom in america that when she would have sauerkraut for dinner all of her kids would cheer and that's still how much i love sauerkraut so i'm just laying on there i'm breaking my 18 hour 18 and a half hour fast with Naan bread with hummus, artichokes, peppers, cucumber, and everything but the bagel seasoning. So I made rolls on my up day along with beef stew, or as my four-year-old heard it, beef poo. 
so dinner just ended and I'm probably gonna close my window with eating one seventh of one of those chocolate hazelnut raisin bars. I really like them, it's just a piece of them. And then I might eat the rest of the dirt cake because there's very little left. <laughs> but I'll be closing my update right about 5.30 with lots of goodies in it. So if you are seeing that, you know that I definitely am not starving. I am eating just my favorite foods once a day in a shorter window. And it actually makes it really fun. One thing that I've also really started to enjoy is actually the food prep. So when I make a soup early in the day and then it's simmering all day, I kind of have like this excitement building. Soup is like my favorite. I love eating soup. I could eat it every single day if my family would let me. They won't. Um, but I just really love it. So having like the process of cooking it's still very fulfilling to me even if I'm not eating. It does make it a little challenging when I'm not like taste testing it, but my girls are older while I'll say like, taste this, does it taste like it needs salt? Does it taste too peppery? Do I need to cut it with cream? Should I add more cheese? Like they'll answer me. Um, usually they don't throw me off too much, so. Um, the process of cooking while I'm fasting is actually super enjoyable or even baking like knowing that I have that to look forward to I really enjoy it. If you want to see something fun that we're eating around here That's new check out my chaffle videos I where I share with you a mini waffle maker and unboxing review and then also how I make chaffles for breakfast sandwiches We are exploring lots of new ways to eat them and they're so good. I figure it's good for me Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao